be closing down. Well, how much money did you hand over the last time you took your four legged family member to the vet? Some people can spend hundreds on their visit if their pet needs medication and surgery we know can cost thousands. That's right. Consumer reporter John Mattery shows why you need to plan in advance so you don't waste your money. If your pet ever needs surgery or cancer care, we're no longer talking a few hundred dollars in costs. We're talking thousands, and that's forcing some pet lovers to make life and death decisions. Ellen Baker loves rescuing cats, but she'll forever have a special place in her heart for Bella, who died after two nights at a pet hospital. And we were so happy to have her home. Just minutes after opening Bella's carrier, she says. She stumbled in that direction, cried out again, and fell over dead. Her beloved tabby cat had died despite scores of tests, lab work, and antibiotics. Losing her, I felt like my heart had been ripped out of my chest. But that was just the first punch. The second, the bill that hit the moment she and Bella arrived at the hospital. But I had to pay $2,204 up front. Ellen handed over her credit card. Can I condemn my cat to death by not spending the money? But the next day, Bella was still sick and the hospital needed another thousand. What was the total bill? The final bill was actually $3,346. Outrageous? No, according to the hospital's founder and director. Dr. Doug Hoffman showed me the millions of dollars worth of high-tech equipment, like this CT scanner that his hospital has. Well, much of the equipment we have in this hospital is the same thing you would have at a human hospital. Their surgeons do hip replacements and chemotherapy for cancer, things unheard of 20 years ago. There's a certain level of care that is being given for them, and there's a price associated with that. Consumer Reports magazine says a day of testing can now cost over $1,000, a torn ligament, $3,000, cancer treatment, $5,000 and up. So what can you do to make sure that when your kitty or puppy eventually gets sick, you're not hit with a surprise $5,000 bill? I wish everyone who had a pet had insurance on that pet. Dr. Wendy Vogel suggests pet insurance from $250 to $500 a year. They will pay 90% of it. So if your bill is $1,000, you're only out $100 out of pocket. And that allows people to do the things that they want to do, but couldn't afford possibly without the insurance. The tech site Mashable rated the top pet insurance companies for 2019 based on reviews. They're Healthy Paws, True Panion, Nationwide, Pet First, Figo, and Embrace. Ellen Baker is going to explore those options, wondering how anyone can afford today's pet health care. And many families, I'm sure, cannot. They have to make the option, if their pet is sick, to just simply put them to sleep. Two other options, a care credit card, a sort of HSA for pets, or open a savings account for your pet and put a bit of money in every month. And that way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matter. He's 23 ABC.